man. Huh? What did you just do? You just cut my headphones. What do you mean? Look, okay, man. Look, okay, let look. go, let go. You can't go anywhere. Okay, no, relax, not... relax. Stop. Don't touch the camera. Okay, let look, go, buddy. No, let go. I'm not let letting go. go of you until go. you give me a replacement. Let go, buddy. Look, look, you're not going anywhere. You're not. You're I, not I, now, as we both know, there are a couple of type of people in this world where you want to give a big juicy spit in your hand and handshake it with their head. We have our colleagues, we have our classmates, we have our little cousins, we have Johnny Somali. And for the people who are wearing white tank tops right now, your wives. But for me, at the top of the list is the one and only TikTok cloud chasers, the YouTube pranksters. The people who will go out of their way, ruin someone's day for what? For that drug, for that view drug, for that cloud drug. But at the same time, it's not really their fault. They've been diagnosed with the donkey syndrome. And today, what I have for you is this individual donkey called Mooch, who also goes as king with a double G prank he's the king of pranks excuse me yo oh uh, where did you get those what where did you get those those uh, headphones yeah the, my daughter caught gave me these as a birthday present oh really okay those are some nice headphones what the fuck man Huh? What did you just do? You just cut my headphones. What do you mean? You just my friend. What do you mean? What do you mean? You just cut his headphones and he has. Why did you do that? And you say what do you mean? Honestly, in this situation, you always got a trap. You can never be too safe. Just go with the pew pew on the foot, and he's like, oh my god, you just shot me in the leg. Just tell him what do you mean? What? He could have literally said because your headphones are ugly. But what did he go for? What do you mean? What? He's a pr prankster. Keep in mind, an entertaining prankster. Just cut my headphones. You don't need headphones. Man, I need headphones. What are you doing? What do you mean? Why, why did you Why did you cut my headphones? What did I do? Why are you coming towards me? Look, you don't need. You headphones. just cut my headphones. You destroyed these headphones. You need to replace these. You don't need headphones. Listen, I'm gonna find some security guys. What do you and mean? I'm gonna get you into big trouble. No, you're not. Look, I was just sitting over okay. there all by myself. Look, you're not gonna. Look, okay, man. Look, okay, look, let go. Let go. You can't go anywhere. Okay. You've taken off with my headphones. You've destroyed them. No, right? I didn't. And guess what? The guy has no proof that he actually cut off his headphones. It's not like John Cena is standing over there and filming the whole thing. Okay. Uh, what? what the the fuck is this? Hey, no, no, you don't have to film this. Relax, no, 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 relax, it. not... relax. Stop. Don't touch the camera. I'm allowed to touch your headphones, but you're not, you're not allowed to touch my camera, man. The cameraman, the, the John Cena guy who has been standing there camouflage without you seeing him the, the whole time. I love the fact that the guy just passed by and it was like, look at these dorks, look at this staged thing. Now looking at this whole thing, it's probably staged because this is how it works. I'm sure you've seen these type of pranks before where someone comes and cuts your headphones and the other person is like, you, you, why you do that? Why you? And this guy is like, you know what? Here's an AirPod 353X Max Pro. And this guy does the same thing as well. But throughout the process, it's torture. Like throughout the process, it needs to be entertaining. You need to have like good comebacks. But it's absolutely painful watching with zero amount of entertainment and zero amount of communication skills. You just cut my headphones. What do you mean? And how I found this clip was through Twitter. All these uh, Twitter, big Twitter pages, they're posting it. Look at this degenerate anything for those TikTok views. But obviously, you need to do your own investigation because all these Twitter pages... They are the one cloud chasing and just literally you post anything. They're going to take it out of context and just make you look like shit. It's nothing new. The true criminals are the Twitter pages. I don't even know why they would bait something like this. Twitter people fight over anything. If they want to get views, just post a picture of a, a blind person seeing for the first time and make, make it a wholesome video. Put a wholesome soundtrack at the back as well. And people are going to argue over this. They're going to be like, oh, they cannot hear skill issues. Other person is, is going to be like, why are you filming it in the first place? Why do you want views? You don't really need to clickbait people. And why do I say this whole thing is fake? That the guy is obviously pretending is because that's exactly how my dad would act. I take out my phone. I put it on a tripod. I say, dad, let's shoot a TikTok video. Ding, ding, ding. S same acting. And another point is you can't tell me that you just realize you're being filmed after like three minutes in the video. Bro is 100% John Cena. Camouflage Harry Potter clot. 100% you didn't see him at midway. You were like, hey, are you filming this? No, stop. You donkey, come here. What are you doing? Listen, 
Listen, you no, have okay, got to you figure don't need this these. out. You, you got to figure that out. You don't need these. Look, you've got to repair okay. or no, replace these Six, right now. Just go back, buddy. I'm just not go going back. anywhere. You're not buddy, going anywhere. Go back. You're not going okay, anywhere. Let, I'm going to make go. sure that you you get into buddy. some serious trouble here. No, I'm here. not. Okay, let look, go, buddy. No, let go. I'm not letting go of you until you give me a replacement. Let go, buddy. Look, look, you're not going anywhere. You're not. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Be calm, be calm. Let go, relax. Okay. Here, I got you some headphones. No. These are for you. No, no, this is not for me. Yes, it is. Those are for me. No, no, no. I got these are AirPod Pros. Such a wholesome video. It was so entertaining. This guy is such a good guy. Like th throughout the whole process, I was like, this guy is so evil. But it turned out he's actually a nice guy who gives AirPods to people. It was fucking torture just watching this whole way through. This is not for me. This is for you. Take Why? Them. Why is this for me? Because it was a little prank and I wanted to get it there. Replace it with something nice. This was what this yeah. was all about? Yes, sir. You you had planned this the entire time? Yes, I did. You were, we were recording you the whole time. You were on camera. I promise. Relax, you know? That I is crazy. I, yeah, I apologize. That's I hope crazy. you enjoy your... The daughter watching this video crying right now after the headphones that he got for her dad after saving up for the for a whole year is on the floor or in the garbage, whatever the fuck it is. And honestly, this guy's act was so good, the old man, that him throughout the whole video, this video got 2.1 million views. He needs to give him at least like 30% of his ad revenue because uh, top-notch acting. I apologize, man. You have a great day. You know? Thanks, man. Yeah. Enjoy them new new headphones. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Look at his smile. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, you probably think this is your first time coming across to one of his videos, but I can guarantee you it's not. I'm pretty sure 90% of the people watching this video, you have watched this specific clip. What you doing? You good? What you mean, bro? Hold on, it's a prank. It's a prank. What you doing? Watch out, watch out. You tripping. You tripping. We recording. It's a video. It's a video. You tripping. Tripping, bro. You mean, good. Bro, You're good, bro. Good. I, I ain't want to touch your girl. It was a video. I didn't even want to touch your girl in the video, so he was forced to touch the girl. He didn't want to, but this was a very gold idea in his head for him to do this prank. Just like that first video we watched about the cutting the air, the headphones, and he's like, "Why did you cut my headphones?" What do, you, what do you mean? Unfortunately, that is 90% of the pranks nowadays. That's how people do it. That's how they see it. That's how they're going to get a viral content. A majority of the pranks are staged 100%. Even back in the day with Vitaly, Fuzi, me watching it as a 13, 14 year old. I was like, oh my God, that's so funny. Ha ha ha. I was absolutely heartbroken when I found out that they were all fake. And now as a 25 year old man, I sit through anything I watch. It's day and night that it's if it's fake or not. But hey, even though it's not funny, I can always make a video about it and we can all just point at them and just straight up laugh at their face. But yeah, I just thought that this guy was so unentertaining and it was just torture to watch the whole video like while I was researching. And I wanted to share that torture with you because I care about you so much. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe it, uh, share it, like it, subscribe it, comment it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also, if you do not click on one of these videos, you're gay. No English, no Hispanic. You don't click on them, you're gay. Straightness is appearing in three, two, one.